Students, my name once again is Mrs. Chukwu Nagachimwendo Susan, and I take you on English language. Last week we talked about the emphatic stress, and the emphatic stress has to do with exerting our energy on a word, okay? Exerting our energy on the word. Today we'll be looking at something else. It has to do with word stress rules. For this word stress rule, our attention is going to be based on particular syllable, not the entire word this time around, okay? Now, we have different types of words. We have the monosyllabic word, we have the disyllabic word, and then we have the, the, the polysyllabic words. Now, the, the monosyllabic words are words with just one syllable, and so we exert our energy on that one syllable, nowhere else to go. Now, for the, the disyllabic word, we'll have um, words that have, that has a, words that have two syllables. Two syllables, okay? It can come in form of a noun, adverb, adjective, or even a verb. Okay, so when you have words of two syllables, you have to be careful to know whether it's a noun, a verb, an adjective, or an adverb. If the word happens to be a noun, if the word happens to be a noun, okay, down here, if the word happens to be a noun, then a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. That means the, 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 the stress will have to be placed on the very first syllable of that word. Remember, if you have a disyllabic noun, adjective, or an adverb, you place the stress on the very first syllable, as you have here. Please, in your examination, we normally stress with um, capital letters. Okay? If you were to be in your dictionary, the place the stress mark on top of here. But because of exam purpose, we capitalize. Okay, the first word here is debate. Debate. You place the stress on the very first syllable of noun, uh, adjective, or adverb. If they happen to be two syllable words, you have transport, ugly, simple, mountain. Faithful, never, bitter, honest, seldom, and so on and so forth. Moving up here, we'll have the polysyllabic word. These are the problematic ones. Okay? Okay, before the polysyllabic word, which begins here, let's look at the verb. Okay? The verbs that are two syllable in nature are stressed on the second syllable. I go by this again. Some um, verbs that are two syllable in nature are normally stressed on their second syllable. Example, we'll have words like refuse, refuse, decide, argue, support, ignite, suspect, project, okay, and many more. Now, in talking about these two syllable words, I need to ask something quickly. We have what we we'll call heteronyms. Heteronyms. What are heteronyms? Heteronyms are words that have the same spellings but different meanings and pronunciation. Now, if you look at some words here, example this one, all right, this one, this one, and some other one that I may not see. Okay, this one, this word. P R O J E C T can be pronounced two in two ways, okay? Depending on whether it is a noun or a verb. If it is a verb, we call it project, okay? Project. If it is a verb, uh, sorry, if it happens to be a noun, we call it project. Project with the stress on the very first syllable. For this word here, if it is a verb, we call it refuse. Refuse, refuse. If it is a noun, it becomes refuse, refuse, with the stress on the very first syllable. Now, down here we'll have our polysyllabic words, which are normally the favorite of our examination bodies. Okay, the polysyllabic words we we'll have here are stressed on the second syllable from behind. The second syllable from behind. So we count like this. One, two. One, two. Okay, from behind. One, two. 
Okay, we strike the second syllable from behind. Our first syllabic words that end in I C, I O N, I A L, I O U S, um, I A N, and so on and so forth. Most of them you normally have one or two exceptions. But mostly, for most words ending in I C, I O N, I A L, I A N, I O U S, you stress them on the second syllable from behind. Example, we have ecstatic, ecstatic, aquatic, beneficial, obnoxious. Oblivious, examination, obligation, electrician, optician, and so on and so forth. Down here we'll have words ending in C Y I T I I T Y P H Y G Y I C A L R Y I F Y L O G Y G A M Y A C Y and so on and so forth. Mostly these ones have their stress on the third syllable from behind. Remember I said you come from behind. So on the, on the, the, the third syllable from behind, you stress what? You stress the syllable from the third syllable from behind. Example, we have democracy, democracy, radiology, radiology, geometry, polygamy, polygamy, uncertainty, manipulate, capital, Economical, okay. Such endings can also be M E T R Y A T A L. Now, the last one here is you stress the fourth syllable from behind of words ending in O R A R Y I V E. Examples we have pecuniary, communicator, educator. Educator, 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 okay? Communicating, 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 sorry, communicating. All right. The essence of this lesson is for you to know this here, because that is what you're going to be test tested on. You're going to be tested on whether you know the ending of the words. So you have to do a little cramming here. Have it in your head that when the word ends in I C and I C I O N I A L I A N I O N that such words are stressed on the second level from behind and so here also. So the first job you have to do is to have the word endings in your head and with the word endings where you place the stress vis-a-vis -vis the word ending. So to test. Um, how far you were able to follow, I will need you to do this short exercise here. It can be found on page 98 of your prep right, do numbers 6 to 15. Page 98 of your prep right, number 6 to 15. Please, once again, you submit via my number 08067740608. Thank you very much for